I'm Chris Ketke. I'd like to give you some tips for how to use different kinds of chilies. In the world of chilies, there are many to choose from, but they can be kind of divided up into two camps, into the fresh chilies and into the dried chilies. Now, each one has a very different flavor profile, but even within each of the families, the chilies have different flavors and different heat intensities. For instance, a jalapeno is moderately spicy. When you compare it though to a habanero, it's completely night and day. These will completely rock your world. Now a little something about working with these, because you don't necessarily have to have the chilies at peak intensity. What do I mean? For instance, if we're gonna cook with a jalapeno, what we can do is slice that jalapeno in half. And then you see all this in here, see all this white stuff, the veins and underneath it you have all the seeds. The hottest part of the chili is actually all of this white vein right over here. Now the seeds come in a close second. So if you really don't want the intensity of this chili, what you can do is just take a paring knife and cut alongside the flesh and very simply take out the majority of the vein in the seeds. Now if you really want to tone the heat down, you can get in here and remove a great percentage of the vein and all of the seeds. And now this chili is a lot less spicy than if you were going to use this one. When we look at the dried chilies, dried chilies are kind of the same story because they also have very different uh, heat intensities and very different flavors. And it's kind of interesting because the names of the chilies change from when they're fresh to when they're dried. So for instance, this one right over here is a chili ancho. And a chili ancho, when it's fresh, is called a chili poblano. It's a big green chili of this basic shape. Now another great example of a name change in the world of chilies is if, for instance, you were to take a jalapeno and you were to dry it, but you were to dry it over smoke, it becomes the ever so popular chili chipotle. Chipotle is basically a dried smoked jalapeno. Now just as we remove the seeds and the veins from the fresh chilies, we can also do the same with dried chilies. So this chili guajillo, for instance, I can take this and just remove the top and I can just open this up with my hands or I could even just cut it open with a pair of scissors and just remove all the seeds from the inside. And you can see the veins are right over here and I can just pull the veins out as well. And now what I have is a chili that is far less spicy than if I had left it whole. There's a lot of things that you can do with dried chilies. You can rehydrate them in water and turn them into salsas, into moles, into marinades. You can also buy them ground up. Because if we have, for instance, these chili flakes, that started as a whole chili, or this right over here, which is ground up cayenne, very spicy, and that started from a dried chili that's called a cayenne. One important note. When you're working with chilies, remember how they burn your mouth. They will also burn your skin as well. So if you're working with a chili, for instance, like a habanero, you really want to put gloves on because these are very, very hot and they can really burn your fingers. But very importantly with all chilies, when you're done working with them, you have to wash your hands with plenty of soap and water right away when you're done because you still have all of that spiciness on your fingers. And if you do something like itch your eye, it's very, very uncomfortable. So remember, wash your hands as soon as you're done working with the chilies. To get other helpful tips, go to betterbarbecueblog.com.